In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get set up in just a few minutes with the new Next.js AI chatbot that was recently open sourced by the team over at Vercel. So if I just go ahead and demonstrate what we're actually going to be uh, setting up here is you'll see that you have a chat GPT like experience where you have this streaming back from the LLM. And then you also have your chat history, which this will be using the Vercel KV database. And then you also have the ability to a share a conversation uh, if you'd like. So you can delete, share, and have a lot of nice features out of the gate if you are building a chatbot. So the first thing that you're going to do is head over to the GitHub uh, repository for this. So Vercel Labs slash AI dash chatbot. You can go ahead, click code, pull this down, and then you can git clone the repository. So just git clone and paste that in. So once you've done that, make sure you're within the directory. So I've already pulled this down, um, but make sure you're within the directory and then you can go p npm install. So once you've installed everything, you can go ahead and open up the directory within your uh, code editor and we'll go over to our .env .example. So I've already removed the .example, but you'll just have to go ahead and remove that from your code. So once you have that set up, we're just gonna go through these one by one. So the first thing that you're going to need is an OpenAI API key. So if you go to platform.openai.com slash account slash API key, you can create a new secret and it's super simple. So if you haven't set one up already, you get some credits for free without tying in a credit card. So go in, create a secret, and then paste it within your .env. Now next, you're just going to need to generate a random secret. So uh, they gave you an example within the boilerplate here where you can have a random secret. So you can use this if you'd like, or you can just generate your own uh, next auth secret. So next we're going to have, I'm just gonna keep this as localhost 3000. Feel free to change this if you'd like. Then once we have that set up, we're going to go within our GitHub uh, account here. And then within GitHub, if you simply go to settings and then you click OAuth apps, new OAuth app, and then you'll have your GitHub ID and GitHub secret that you'll paste here. Then finally, once we have that set up, we'll head over and log into our Vercel account. And so I'm just using a different KV database that I have on another project here. But if you go within your account and uh, within your project and you click storage, uh, you can create a database. And then once you're within the database, you can go within here, you can click your .env.local, and then you can copy in all these values like you see, and then you can paste them in here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, but the one notable thing with this uh, repository that it makes it really easy to do is you can uh, integrate with their new Vercel AI SDK. So they have the uh, MPM I AI namespace, if we call it that, where it gives you a really nice package to be able to interface with a, a number of the, these models. So the other thing that they recently um, released as well is this playground. So say if you wanted to change out uh, this uh, example model within the project here. So if we're within the directory of the project and we just head over to the app and we go to API and we go to chat and you can simply click the code that you need for the model. So uh, I won't go through uh, putting this in one by one, but pick the model that you like and then you'll be easily able to just swap out the configuration and the the code for this. So you see there's the, the post uh, function here. You can just replace that and include the other pieces that you might need. So you'll also need to install uh, the various API keys. So say if you're using Hugging Face, you have to get an API key from them or Anthropic, a different API key. So just make sure you have those variables within the .env. But otherwise, that's pretty much it to get up and running. If you wanted to deploy this, you could just you know uh, run Vercel in the terminal here and deploy it to your Vercel account. But a really great project to just have a sort of full featured uh, chat interface similar to chat GPT where you can get off the ground up and running with being able to configure it and customize it as you see fit. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next one.